Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, it's your boy right here, BZ Rider. And I'm back at it again with another video. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, I'm gonna give you just a brief rundown of what happened from the previous video to this video here. Um, I'll leave a link overhead to talk about that as well so that way you guys can watch that video. Guys, in my previous video, I got the Z tune. I did the Z1 mail-in tune. Um, I sent the ECU out to them. They sent it back. I plugged it into the car, the car started and everything like that but I was just having problems swapping between my maps and my arc features were not working so they were like you know just go ahead and send it to us we'll test it out maybe there's some other parameters that we have to go into or whatever you know make some adjustments and then we'll test it on one of the shop cars to see how it is so I was like all right cool that's good and all that I shipped it out to them so it came back in today um, relatively fast shipping just like when I sent it out to them um, it seems like they have very quick turnaround time I'll go ahead hook the ECU up I'm gonna do that off camera because it's kind of an awkward spot to be able to put this back in and in the last video I went over that so we'll go ahead get that plugged in and then I've got a few other parts that I got installed as well I'm gonna need you guys to hit that like button to put some good vibes out in this video so that way hopefully everything works with this anyway like I said I'll go ahead and put the ECU back into the car and we will go from there I'm not gonna lie this is like my least favorite thing to do like taking off the steering wheel but I guess it has to be done in order to get this working. All right guys, so we just uh, kind of temporarily have the cruise control switch on here. Um, it's installed. So hopefully now, you know, fingers crossed. Oh my God. Ugh. So I'm hoping now guys that after having this, the cruise control switch from the 350Z as well as Z1 messing with the ECU, hopefully everything works now and the arc features will work and the um, map selection will work. We're going to go ahead and try to start the car. I won't be able to tell, like I said, since this is a base model, I won't be able to tell by a flashing cruise light on the dash because the base doesn't have the lighting or whatever in there to make that actually light to flash to see what map I'm in. So what I'm going to try to do is um, get into to hopefully my security map and if it doesn't start that'll be good and then if i can go to another map we should be good so this is going to be the first startup and hopefully this works out okay a few moments later all right guys so i've been sitting in the car kind of playing around with this a little bit it does seem like that the cruise control switches are working so that's a victory right there i am able to switch between my maps so we're good there the next thing though that i need to see about um i'll probably do this like tomorrow or something is i need to try to see about the arc feature see if um hopefully i don't need to get a cable and a laptop to be able to turn those things on they should be on but yeah we'll see about that later but i'll just show you guys real quick just kind of like what i was seeing playing around with the car and this map that i've noticed right here this is i'm gonna assume like my economy map because my rpms are going to drop down they'll drop down and have like a normal idle so that's there and that's going to stick around there so if i change my maps i believe put it in my performance map my rpms raise up believe the map switching is working I'm gonna go ahead and change it to another map which should be my eco map I assume and the rpms are going to drop back down and then when I go to like another map it kind of like puts a little bit like it dips I don't know what that is I'm not driven the car yet i'll probably take it out for a drive um tomorrow i just want to put the ecu in tonight and kind of test it see if it's working all right guys so it's been not gonna lie it's been a couple weeks or whatever since the last recording we have actually some good news everything is going good with the z far as the tune goes everything's swapping like how it's supposed to so what i'm about to do is i got a couple errands that i need to make i'm gonna take you all along with me so that way i can kind of talk about the tune some it seems like the maps that i've had i have a performance map i have a pops and bangs map or popcorn map whatever you want to call it i have a valet map where where it won't rev past a certain rpm i also have a map where it won't drive at all it's like a security map and then i assume that it's like an eco map we'll go ahead go out in the z like i said make a couple errands i'm gonna try to show you guys as much as i can while i'm driving of how the car feels yeah we'll go from there so
right guys, so I'm gonna try to give you all like a little third gear pull real quick, just to kind of show about where we are. So I don't know if you guys can hear those pops, but oh man, they sound freaking cool. <laughs> Another third gear pull. Alright guys, so I went ahead and swapped my map. We'll do another third gear pull in the performance map. Let's see how it goes. Alright guys, so real quick, I wanted to make a quick little pit stop while I was out um, to kind of check on something because it's been a while since I've checked on it. Look at that Z, man. Ooh, Z is dirty right now, but whew, man. All right, guys, don't. Y'all not supposed to see those headlights right now or whatever, but hey, it is what it is. The Z is dirty right now, but it looks pretty clean. Um, so at the moment, guys, I've changed my headlights out. That's going to come out in another video. Guys, if you made it to this point in the video, I got a special treat for you. The 350 is not the only Z I have. I also have this girl right here. Guys, it's been forever since I've been in this Z. So guys, this is my 1990 300ZX 2 Plus 2. I've shown this on the channel before, but it's been a minute since um, I've been out here to give an update on it. Matter of fact, it's been a minute since I've been out here to work on it. This thing is not stock. I'm gonna show you what I got underneath the hood. Let me just put this up real quick. Woo! So, yes guys, this is RB25 swap. This is the RB25 swap 300ZX. I really need to get this thing going. I want to be able to bring that to the channel for you guys. Coming out here seeing it, it's inspiring more for me to actually come out and work on it. You know, we'll cross that bridge when we can get there. Well guys, I didn't find what I was actually looking for. Um, I was trying to see if I could find my wide band that I have for the 300 since Obviously, it's not running right now. I wanted to take that and put it into the 350. We'll just go ahead, get back into the 350. It is cold outside. Yeah, we'll go ahead, do some more of this video, uh, try to get some more driving footage um, if I can. All right, guys, well, it's starting to get a little dark out now, so I want to try to take the Z to a nice little spot. Uh, it's kind of secluded, kind of see, uh, see if we can see any flames or anything like that coming from the Pops and Bang map or a crackle map or whatever you want to call it the little pop 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 like all that stuff <laughs> i'm because i'm just curious too, to see what it looks like and how it sounds outside the car because uh, with me driving it's kind of hard to you know hear exactly what the car sounds like outside of said car the tune honestly has not been too bad um overall with everything being said and done with it um, like i said it does feel like it has picked up some power it just more refined it's not like a big huge like oh my god power improvement or anything like that uh, i mean come on it's just a de and um you know i just have bolt arms i'll probably talk a little bit more after i get to the spot because i don't want to be holding this camera and driving so we're almost there um and then i'll continue talking there so you know final takes on the tune and things like that overall yes i am happy with the tune i think z1 is a pretty good company this is my first dealings with them and stuff like that i love their customer service they were excellent everybody who i talked to there they were just excellent right on it i wish more places had customer service like how z1 does as far as power goes i mean of course we always want more power that is the goal that's why we do these things it it does feel quicker um it feels more refined it's not like break net oh my god improvements and stuff like that everything just seems more dialed in and refined i keep on saying that but that's just honestly how i feel about it, it just feels more refined i'm pretty sure i think it's john who is the tuner there at z1 he seems pretty cool whenever i had questions sent him an email and a question he responded back to me it is cold out here <laughs> it was great of them and i think it's amazing customer service that he told me to ship the ECU out to him or send him the ECU. He'll take a look at it and, you know, they'll go for there, fix anything. It didn't cost me anything extra except for shipping it out. But, you know, hey, that is, it is what it is on that sense. Um, you know, it was just like 17 bucks or whatever. But after doing that, you know, the car's working how it's supposed to. Maps are being able to be selected. I thought originally it was an issue with my cruise control switches, but I found out that the cruise control the cruise control switches are not the problem i can plug in like i have so many different cruise control switches at the house like i've been able to plug 
all the man from 03 to 05 350Z and G35 as well as 06 and up G35 and 350Z. Um, all the cruise control switches are working. Oh guys, another cool thing that I found out too with the tune is I actually have cruise control now too. Um, like I said, this is the base model, so it did not have cruise control, but now uh, my cruise control does work. You know, I can accelerate and cancel, resume, all that stuff, just like it was supposed to work from the factory as if this was a model that had that. All right, we'll stick with Z1 with future tunes. I do want to try to do an E85 map later on. Um, I'm kind of contacting them right now and stuff. So hopefully, you know, they tell me yay or nay on the E85 tune. If, they, if they're not able to do an E85 remote tune, which I'm sure that they can, you know, I might have to go somewhere else. I want to continue working with Z1 just because of how well their customer service is. No, this is not sponsored in any type of way, shape, or form from Z1. I'm just relating how well their customer service is. Hopefully this can help you all out. If you're on the fence about getting a tune done, this is probably the most budget friendly option of getting a tune done. You know, it's just like $300 plus shipping. Um, if you do just the tune or, you know, if you want the ARC license, then it's 400 plus shipping because it's like another $100 for the ARC license. I also do not have a up rev cable. You know, I'm gonna just try to buy one of those later on secondhand. So guys, it is really getting cold out here. I'm going to try to see if the Z will pop flames using that verbal map and hopefully I don't get like robbed or anything out here where I'm at because sketchy out here where I'm at now nah, but um but yeah guys we're gonna try to see if we can pop some flames and then that's gonna be the end of this video so hopefully you guys found this informative you know if you guys have questions or anything like that guys just leave a comment down below I'll I respond to all comments. I love you all out there who comment on the videos and things like that. That's that's awesome. Well, happy New Year to everybody. You all know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.